Now, I've got seven reasons for believing that when the animals came on the ark, they were all young. All young. They'd eat less food, they'd take up less space, they'd be more fun for Noah and his family to look after. They'd, uh... What is? That's right, they'd be younger when they came out, more, more uh, fit to, to, to make uh, more, more families. Oh, the average size of the animals that came out of the ark, elephants, mice, do you know the average size animal is about the size of a small dog? That's all. And so each, each animal had about, um, that, that about the size of a single bed for each, each animal. The bigger the animal, the bigger the bed. <laughs> More washing for mother. Better than the fossils. Now, what happened? How, how, how did the flood start? Well, look, I just told you that the, 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 the number of days in the year changed. And it changed because the Lord withdrew his support for the ancient world. And it collapsed. This here was supposed to, I should have brought this out earlier, when we were talking about the earth uh, spinning faster at the time of the flood. You see, when you've got that swing like that, <laughs> I'm taller than I thought I was, and you pull it in like that, it just gets faster and faster and faster. <laughs> and so that's how it happened at the time of the flood. And um, the earth spun faster because the, the, the Lord allowed the earth to collapse. I've got the wrong picture here. No, no, that'll do. I won't try to explain this whole thing to you. But the earth was like that. Underneath was what's called the fountains of the great deep. The Lord would do his support for the ancient world and these columns collapsed. The earth fell in. The water came out. Have you ever seen an ice, an ice skater standing on one toe and spinning with her arms out? And when she brings her arms in, what happens? She spins faster. She spins faster. I was talking about 300 people one day. A little child calls out, he falls over. <laughs> but you have the right answer, she goes faster. The same thing happened to the earth. The earth spun faster by five and a quarter days in a year. And that caused tremendous waves to run round and round the earth. And they, they hit the eastern seaboard of the continents, race up like a tear over the continent. And, and all the trees and things, you see the whole earth was lush with forestation and vegetation. And this was all dumped then back onto... Now, there's, there's the continents there, Sumatra and Borneo. This is a, a, a section uh, through the earth at the equator. And uh, do you know that uh, those who believe in evolution will tell us they don't know when the dinosaurs died. But we know. They died when the flood came. The flood of the earth. They all died then. There was no reason for dinosaurs in our environment when the animals and Noah and his family came off the ark. Back there, there was. And when the earth, when the earth is recreated in its original splendor, I expect to see the dinosaurs back again. And me and Fred Flintstone are going to slide down the dinosaurs back. <laughs> <laughs> Formation of the coal fields, of course, was caused at that time. All that vegetation was brought over and slammed against the eastern seaboard of the, of the, uh, of the mountains and then over into the next valley and so on. And this was formed the, the, the coal fields. Fish in the National Geographic, and uh, there's a picture of a fish. It seems to have another fish in its uh, mouth, and the material around it is very grey. It's set like concrete, which of course shows that it must have been uh, uh, volcanic action at the same time as the, as the flood was caused. Now, it takes three days for a fish's gut to rot. Fish are found like that by the thousands. 
encased in rock and it takes just two hours for fish's tail to close up and the fin on the back to close up. That fish died almost instantaneously. And that's what happened, how the, the fossils were formed instantaneously by that, that action. Did you know that the Mississippi, as it flows into the Bay of Mexico, runs, brings all its um, uh, rubbish, sediment, silt, silt. Good to have him around. And uh, it comes down and dumps into the uh, in the Bay of Mexico. It's called a, del a delta down there, and it's been drilled many times for oil. And they knew the depth of it, the average depth of it, and they knew the area of it. They're able to work out how much uh, material came down the Mississippi every year. And then they w w found out that the Mississippi had only been flowing about 4,000 years to bring all that much silt down. It's 4,300 years back to the flood on biblical reckoning. Can't, but nevertheless, I'll change the subject. Uh, we've got in this book about 33 years reasons for supposing that the earth was young. Not an old earth. The Mississippi River, of course, was mentioned here. And uh, stalagmites and stalactites. There's a picture here of a bat laying on top of a stalactite white and uh, been covered with um, uh, lost again. What are they covered with? Limestone. Thank you. Never leave me. Okay. Uh, and it showed that the, that the limestone in, the, in these uh, caves didn't take thousands of years or certainly not millions of years to form as they tell you when you go through the Janola caves. It happened very quickly because it, uh, all the world was stirred up at the time of the flood. And, and water had a lot of calcium in it, and that calcium sucked through the ground into these caverns and formed the stalactites and stalagmites very quickly. Has anyone found the ark? Uh, well, the, the, uh, a lot of people have said a lot of things. One chappy went up there and he said he lifted his son up onto the ark and his son looked down and he said, a lot of rooms in there. Uh, but uh, he was sub submitted to lie detector tests and they didn't believe him anymore. <laughs> but I believe that the ark's up there. The ark will be found too. When they find it, I hope it looks like this, we'll all be out of this. <laughs>